وَاسْتَعِينُ بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Seek help through patience and salah. Now this part of the verse is giving two suggestions to the believers to help them in steadfastness on the path of Jannah and to be steadfast in the obedience of Allah. The two suggestions are patience and salah. Patience and salah have a very direct relationship and they are both very intricately related with each other. Salah helps and promotes one to be patient and patience helps us to establish Salah. So they both potentiate and they both augment each other. Because you know, if we notice, patience needs tolerance and self-control. A person can be patient if he has, if he is tolerant and if he has self-control. And Salah helps us develop this self-control. Salah in, in fact, Salah, and not only Salah, in fact, all physical worships, they train the person for self-control. During Salah, what happens? A person stops himself from many halal and many permissible things which are basic necessities of life. So while a person is making salah, the person stops himself from many halal, many permissible things which are necessary for him in his life, like eating and drinking and walking and talking, looking around. These are all normal activities of life. And these are all necessities of life. And these are all very, very much permissible. But during Salah, out of fear of Allah, out of love of Allah, out of desire to obey Allah, desire to stop from the disobedience of Allah, the person in Salah controls his body. He stops and controls his eyes, his ears, his tongues, his hands, his feet, all the parts of his body. And this is how Salah turns out as a means of training him for self-control. And this self-control of the person in establishing Salah makes obedience to Allah and surrendering to Allah easy for a believer. And that is why Allah is saying, that there is no doubt. There, there is no doubt that it, it means what? Salah. It means here as Salah. Allah says that there is absolutely no doubt that Salah is difficult. It is difficult except all people. It is difficult for all people except for those who are humble and those who submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means that offering Salah and establishing Salah is going to be difficult for people who are not humble, who do not, who are not submissive and who do not surrender and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The arrogant, the aggressively disobedient will find establishing of Salah difficult. People who are God-fearing, it is easy for them to establish Salah. Why? Because the God-fearing people know. They know and they remember the words of Prophet Wasallam. They know and they remember all the God-fearing people and all the humble and all the submissive people. They remember that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is told us that the first question on the day of the judgment will be about Salah, whose Salah will be according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The remaining of the accountability will be easy. So for them who remember all this, for them, Salah is easy. It is not difficult for them to establish Salah. Allahumma hasibna hisa bi Rabbi ja'alli maqim as-salati wa min suriyati.